Many ionic compounds are hygroscopic, which means they absorb moisture from the air. Sodium hydroxide is particularly hygroscopic, which means it will even dissolve in the water it absorbs from the air. This property is known as deliquescence. Because sodium hydroxide is hygroscopic, even if you're very careful with your mass and volume measurements, there is still a bit of uncertainty in the concentrations of the solutions made with it. For this reason, standardization of hydroxide solutions is often necessary to determine the precise concentration of the solution. This is often accomplished by means of a titration. A titration is a technique that may be used to determine the concentration of a solution using a solution of known concentration. The solution of known concentration involves a primary standard for acid-based titrations called potassium acid phthalate, or KHP. KHP is the salt of a weak acid. The phthalate portion of the salt has one ionizable proton. KHP is not hygroscopic, which means its mass is air-stable. We can therefore be fairly certain of the concentrations of solutions made with it, assuming it is massed properly and its solution volume is accurately known. When KHP dissolves in water, it dissociates into potassium and phthalate ions. Phthalate behaves as a weak monoprotic acid in water. When phthalate is titrated with hydroxide, a Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction takes place in which a proton is transferred from the phthalate to hydroxide. At the equivalence point of the titration, the number of moles of phthalate are equal to the number of moles of hydroxide. To start, we fill a burette with our 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Remember, this concentration value may be inaccurate, which is what the standardization process will ultimately determine. The burette is read at this point to obtain an initial reading. We will add 10 milliliters of 0.100 molar potassium acid phthalate solution to an Erlenmeyer flask with 10 milliliters of water. We'll use a magnetic stirrer for this application. Before you begin the titration, we will add two drops of phenolphthalein, an acid-base indicator, which will change color when the end point of the titration is reached. The titration is started by opening the burette to allow the hydroxide to react with the phthalate in the flask. You may notice that at, right at the top of the reaction mixture, the faint appearance of a pink color that quickly fades. At some point, the pink color will persist for a longer period and at this point, you should slow down your titration to go drop by drop. The trick is to go slowly enough that one drop of hydroxide solution causes the entire solution to turn pink. At this point, the equivalence point is reached and the titration is stopped. The burette is read a second time to determine the amount of sodium hydroxide added. To determine the concentrations of the hydroxide solution, we may use the titration formula MAVA equals MBVB. We can solve the titration formula for MB, the molarity of the hydroxide solution, and plug in all the known values to calculate it. Here's an example. Suppose a titration results in the following data. The initial and final burette readings are shown. We determine the amount of hydroxide added by subtracting the initial burette reading from the final burette reading. This results in a difference of 23.87 milliliters. Using this as VB in our formula with the other known values results in a concentration of 0.0786 molar.